All right, folks, we're out for another walk, and it's been not too busy. We had a blind snake and a stream snake, but we didn't stop to film those. They were pretty tiny and not too easy to reach. But now we have found a large, many-banded crate up on an embankment, and it looks like he is just out and about on the hunt. So we've seen these before. I won't spend too much time on them, but most toxic snake in Hong Kong in a lapid and I almost stepped on one in our last video so this is a pretty cool find looks like he's making his way down towards us too which is kind of fun maybe we'll watch for a while and see if he gets down here but great snake to find we're about I would say halfway to two-thirds through our walk so hopefully there's a few more in store for us before we're done we'll check back in if we find anything else Okay, folks, we've got another many banded crate on the hunt. Obviously, this is a decent spot for the crates. We're actually in a, a slightly different part of our walk. So, not exactly the same section as the first one, but along similar paths. And this one's hunting down a little ravine here, looking very cratey as he does. But, pretty cool. Definitely happy to see the crates. Hopefully we'll maybe be able to tack on one or two more other species before we're done, but if not, we'll take this. All right, folks, we are on the way out, but we found this beautiful little white spotted slug snake. Again, another regular on our videos, but Really nice little environment, and looks like he may be recently shed. He's got some really cool coloration, very vibrant spotting. So I thought I'd stop and uh, give it a film. Assume this may be the last or one of the last snakes we see tonight. So we'll probably sign off, but if not, we'll, we'll pop back in and show you what we found. Pretty cool little slug snake. Evening folks, we're out for another walk and we've got a Chinese water dragon, a mature Chinese water dragon up on a vine about, oh, I don't know, uh, maybe 15 meters away. And yeah, these have an established population where we're walking right now. They're an invasive species or an introduced species. Um, and pretty interesting find. We're gonna leave this one alone because he's up pretty high and a little bit far away, but Maybe one of these days we'll get a closer look. Either way, a good opener for the night. All right, folks, so we're really at the start of the proper beginning of the walk, and we've got these two Anderson stream snakes, and one of our fellow hikers managed to spot this, which is a gorgeous Chinese waterside skink. These are an aquatic species of skink. Um, they live almost exclusively in the water. They have really interesting, heavily keeled scales. And if you get really, really close on the head, we might not be able to see it with this camera, but they have micro grooves on the scales on their head to help them channel water. Um, really, really cool finds, all literally right next to each other, all within a couple meters of each other. And, you know, the Andersons are quite common up here, but still fun to find. And um, the water side skink is not common. So really, really cool start to the night. This is a, a very special find. All right, folks, we've got our next snake. We've actually found a few more common snakes, but this is our first, I would say, more spectacular snake of the night. This is another Chinese cobra. This is a sub-adult, and he is just trying to figure out where he wants to go this evening. So I don't want to harass him too much. Maybe I'll see if he'll move out a little bit for us, and then we can get a better look at him. Um, but we saw one of these in a recent video and you can see here if I zoom in right on the back of the neck you may be able to faintly make out a circle pattern and that's the hood marking that's pretty common on the Chinese Cobras it's right about there 
And this one's being pretty calm. It doesn't seem to want to hood up too much. You can see a little bit if I gently stroke it, it's flattening out the neck just a little bit. But these are a really great species. They're a relatively common snake in Hong Kong, but pretty spectacular every time you encounter them. And they are quite toxic. Um, these snakes have a very bad bite. The venom is quite potent. And they also are known to have a pretty nasty bacterial cocktail uh, in their bite as well. So you can get secondary infection quite easily with these guys. But generally speaking, if you leave them alone, they don't want anything to do with you. And they also will give you a nice good warning if you get too close. They'll give you a hiss and usually a hood. So cool find. We're going to keep at it. Uh, we're still maybe a little less than halfway through the walk. So we'll see what else we can come up with. Okay, folks, we're out for another night, and as you might be able to hear, I'm pretty close to a waterfall. And we've got our first snake for the evening, a common wolf. And it looks like he's... Oh, here we go. We'll see if we can get him over by the path here and have a few more minutes with him. All right, well, he's latched onto my finger pretty good. Maybe we can get him to go that way and then we'll be able to follow him around a bit more. Alright. So we've seen these guys quite a bit before. This one's kind of nice. It's a little bit more faded and it's actually a good size one. Um, you could kind of see it with my hand just now, but I would say this is a full grown specimen. And, yeah, I guess for the first snake of the night, after uh, quite a bit of a long walk, this is not unexpected. They're a pretty common species, so... Anyways, we'll stop and, and get a little bit of video of them. Maybe a picture or two. Um, but we're out looking for more tonight, so hopefully this isn't the only one we get. Yeah, look at this one. Decent size. Anyways, we'll let it be on its way and get back to it. We're about uh, halfway through the walk right now, and I normally find more stuff on the way out, so hopefully that holds true tonight. All right, folks, we've got our next snake of the evening, and this time it is a little burrowing rufous snake. Now, this is kind of fun because... Uh, a video or two ago we found another burrowing rufus and it was a darker phased version and I'd referenced these gold versions as another color variant that you can find so kind of fun to be able to see one like this so short after that you can see here they have very highly iridescent scales and they really are a bright yellow almost gold color and aside from that a relatively nondescript snake Nothing too um, unique about their appearance. Uh, quite small little fossorial snakes, and this one's out on this rather wet evening, uh, maybe looking for some worms or something like that. And this is as found, just on the side of the path. So pretty cool little find. Um, you can actually really see the iridescence on the head there, which is pretty cool. I'll see maybe if I can get my other light on them if it doesn't make it shine a bit more. Not really. Yeah. Yeah, there you go, though. Right on the head there, you can see it. Beautiful little snakes. And again, not too big. I'll show you general reference to size. That's my hand. This is this little guy. So yeah, fun find. Uh, I would say not uncommon, but not super common, so... Not a bad result. And we're just starting the, the walk back, so we're just a little more than halfway through. So I guess I'll stop and take a few photos of this guy, and then we will get back on the trail. Alright folks, just wanted to give you one last look at this burrowing rufous snake, or rufous burrowing snake, depending on how you want to say it. I think both common names work. Um, but yeah, I got him uh, off the path so that he doesn't get trot on. There actually are a few uh, hikers out here this evening. 
but put him up and off to the side here so that he can move along his way and just thought it was a pretty cool pose to be able to check him out one last time and again maybe you can get a little bit of a hint of that iridescence that they have on their scales in person it's it's quite stunning um, maybe not so much on video but I think you get a little bit of it and you can see there is tongue flick I mean you'd almost think he was playing dead he's uh, he's so chilled out actually much more relaxed than the last one but really cool snakes especially this uh, gold variant here I think it's a it's a really interesting looking snake a little fossorial and this one's full grown for sure so pretty fun find we got to get back at it we've been here a few minutes now so things seem to be moving might as well get out looking okay well I just passed a group of herpers and they pointed out this neat little blind snake to me and I gave them a heads up on the Rufus um, it seemed like a pretty solid group of folks I assume that they are from a university, all uh, young folks with camera gear. So we've seen a ton of these blind snakes, won't spend too much time on it, but this is the smallest species of snake in Hong Kong. They are tiny, tiny little things. Here's my finger as reference. This one's going to be a full-grown um, adult. And always fun to see. So that's at least three species tonight. So we're going to stay on the move here. See if we can't find something else. All right, snake number four of the night. And this is one of our most common encounters, the bamboo pit viper. And really tough to tell. This one really looks like a female to me. There's some faint white around the upper jaw, but I'm gonna go with female. Um, just in terms of the shape of the head and everything. But, yeah, this one's literally out just on the edge of a little picnic area. I'm actually going to uh, drop it just a touch closer to the brush because this one's quite obvious for people that will be walking by. But, enjoy these. One of our favorites. If we didn't bump into these, we would have a much lower snake count on an average basis. So, great to see. Alright, we got Viper number two. This one's actually super bright and pretty colored. And it's sitting in ambush in a bush facing a rock. So I don't know how much of a good view we're going to be able to get of the head. Maybe alright from over the top here. Yeah, let's see if we can... There we go. You can see there it's uh, pointed down at the rock hoping something will run by. A little bit difficult to grab focus there go. Yeah, Viper number two. We're going to keep moving, see if we can tack on either some more Vipers or maybe some other species. All right, Viper number three. Also set up an ambush, this time in a little bit more naturalistic setting. Looks like another pretty female. We're gonna keep at it here. Okay, next snake of the night, another common wolf snake. This one's also pretty healthy looking and a little bit more energetic than the last one. Not so plus to see me, but Pretty good example of the species. Nice, clear, distinct yellow markings. And again, pretty good size. Looks like it's well fed. So getting pretty close to the end here. And this may close us off for the night. But if we find something else, I will pop back on.